Hello, just doing a quick video here. I'm replacing the water pump in this uh, Mercury 110 9.8 horsepower engine, Thunderbolt ignition. And there's a serial number down here, right where the uh, chassis clamps to the boat. There's my number. And so we'll go ahead and replace the water pump. We just drop the bottom leg off. It's fairly simple to do. There's a nut that goes on this bolt and then another bolt that comes up through here and there'll be a nut here right above this kind of uh, guide vein here. Okay. Okay, so this had a vein break off the little impeller here. Uh, if you look closely, there's a part number on it. I, it's right there. I'm not sure if this is upside down or not, but uh, that's how you find out which one to get. There's different shaft diameters, and so I just went to the took this to the shop and this gave me this uh, new one here, replacement Quicksilver one, so go ahead and put that in. Uh, just looking at my other pieces here, the body, it's not new but it's fine, it'll go again. The o-ring's still there, it's pliable, soft, so clean that up and put that back in. And there isn't any huge wear marks inside here, the, the uh, part that's uh, a wear item that you know would grind up if sand got in there or what have you. Um, and there's the top of the this piece here. Uh, this go together like that with this plate in there and then the water shoots out here through the tube up top and is drawn in there through the bottom of the lake which I'll show later. I remove the body, just take a couple screwdrivers and uh, get underneath the body. Just pry it up. This goes through the o-ring and then pop. Out it comes. That's once the two nuts are off and the cover pickup will just come out at the same time. It should come up and off. There we go. Here's the new keyway, or a key for the keyway. There's the part number there. Just picked it up from my local Mercury dealer. There it is there, just a little tiny guy. The little key dissection on top and the concave section in the back to fit around the shaft. So on your shaft you'll have a empty spot. Just use some grease, place it in there. Grease will basically hold it in place and then your impeller can fit down on it in its key section here. And throw it up on the camera. Right there, you can just see it. So that has to be in there or else uh, the shaft will just spin and the engine will overheat. Let's just look at the original impeller. I know that the top piece broke, so the veins fold back that way. So that's the direction the new one will go in. So got that new one, a uh, little bit of grease on it. Let's reset the o-ring a bit. Touch of grease on the new part, just in case it dry starts.
So it's going to make sure it's in uh, neutral here. Uh, there's one detent, one detent, oh, there's one detent, another detent, and another detent. So that must be neutral there. Neutral here. And I down here. Gonna tip up a bit. Make sure the transmission starts doing correctly. And look for the copper tube. There it is. Uh, get it. There it is. Can't quite see. You know, it's pitch black down there. Okay, so I got my top copper tube in. My my plastic tube, the transmission shafts in, the drive shafts in. So I'm watching for my two bolts, like this one up here, like that bolt, let me back a little bit, uh, that bolt and that bolt. Okay, that's like that. Okay, spin the propeller a bit, bring it down. Put more force on it. I mean, it's just uh, the drive's not quite going in. It seems to be in drive for some reason. There's neutral there, but that's reverse. That's not right. Let's get back out a bit. So that should be neutral there. There we go. There you go. So now I'll get my nutty nuts and. Uh, ah. See now, this guy goes in the bottom. I think this one, yeah. See it way under there, right by the water pickup. They're all hidden, but that'd be out of the water stream, so they're all tucked away. And the only other one goes up over here, right here. And it, you can't put the other one in all the way because the bolt will come in and you won't go with the nut on. So you have to start the nut while the leg is down a little bit. And there we go. So now let's tighten that up, put oil into it, and enjoy it all summer. Okay, I'm viewing through the eyepiece of this camera, like the little top part that you see in the movies. I gotta put this phone on this boat so we can listen to some black dog. Oh god, I can't see shite. Uh. Crap. Yeah!